Hello, and welcome back gamers to the first ever Fiesta Guide. The first guide will show you the simplistic stuff of choosing your server and character creation. So to begin with, we have a total of six servers, Cypion, Epith, Baju, Ligel, Appline, and Tiva. At the moment, Ligel is the lowest population, if with Baju or Tiva taking the highest population. I personally recommend joining Cypion, as that's where I'm currently located. You're allowed to have a maximum of five characters, one of every single class. When you go to the Create a Class button, you'll notice that it pops up, giving you the choice of all five characters. You may choose from a Fighter, your main tank or damage class, Clerics, your healers, Archers, your damage over times and your AoEs, Mages, your AoEs and your very high single target damage, uh, and your Tricksters, who are extremely high damage and attack speed rate. Once you choose any of these characters, you may choose between male or female choices. You may choose your name, your class, your gender. You only have one choice of face. You'll have three different choices of haircut. Or three different choices of hair color. I recommend taking the time to customize your character the way you personally will be able to play with it. Make sure your character looks fine to you, even though you can later change this with an item from the Spark Cash money store. In order to change your hair though, you must pay real life money, so my caution is to make sure if you can't pay real life money, that you choose something that you like. Once you've chosen the character's name, you can move on and select the character in game. All characters are level 1 and will connect to the server in the map known as Roman. Roman is the beginner tutorial map and you'll be on there from level 1 through 10. The first thing you'll notice quickly is the quick start guide, which will tell you the moving around, how to move your in-game camera, give you a quick guide to the mystery vault, and the card system. Resting is also another key feature of this game that will be explained later. At the moment, you'll need to ignore the whole card collection system, as this is non-essential to the game, and will at no point give you any advantage in the game. The mystery vault system is a great way to obtain uh, spark cash items without paying real-life money. Every certain amount of levels. For some people it's 10 levels, and from certain levels it's 4 or 2 or 1 level. But every time you get those assigned levels, in this case the first phase is at level 6, you get to unlock a mystery vault that will give you a choice of either SE items or in-game items. This will never give you money, and that's a key thing to keep in mind. Your basic controls are to use your uh, left click to move, your right click to move your camera, be able to make sure you're dragging. In order to zoom in and out of your character, you'll be uh, scrolling your mouse wheel. If you don't have a mouse when you're playing on a laptop, uh, I recommend playing with a mouse. Moving around is the simple WASD keys, or you can simply left click to drag your character around the map. Another quick thing to pop up is this yellow question mark above your head. It will tell you your simple tooltips, and you can permanently disable this if you find it annoying. Later in the game, you for sure want to disable that. Also, for people who just made this account right now after downloading Fiesta from the website, you'll have a little blue circle here with the exclamation point, and it will come across the tooltip across your board. These can also be disabled from your game menu. Tooltip pop-up. Also, the play guide can be popped up from there. As you can see, this is your play guide. It gives you a quick guide on every single thing. In this case, it'll tell you about the estate system, which is something that we can discuss later. You have very simple chat tabs. Your normal chat is a uh, com com your normal chat is a combination of every single chat. It offers you a view of old chats, and it offers you a view of the roars. You can only hear the roars inside of this chat. Your academy chat is for the academy that you'll be later jo joining in the game. In this case, if I wanted to, I could join the spare academy, but the academy system will be talked about in a different video. The guild system is the advancements of the academy. After you obtain level 60, you typically get to go into guilds. Some guilds require a higher level, such as 90 plus or 80 plus. But most guilds require simple level 60. Party is for your party system. For those of you who haven't played MMORPGs before, the party system is just a system where you can combine with other players in a party to fight large bosses and monsters. This will help you later in the game, and at the moment, for level 1, or 1 through 5, shall I say, you won't need a party. Your whisper chat is your private messaging. This allows you to contact the player one, one on one and will not allow for anyone else to hear this. Uh, of course, you could use it to spread gossip, or you can use it to simply alert a player or something that they need to know. Also, this is also often used with, in combination to the party matching system, which will let you talk to other players on a board, and then send them whispers to talk about what they've posted. 
The next feature I want to talk about is the in-game clock. This in-game clock pops up with the Outspark time, oh, not Outspark anymore, Kamigo time, and this time is what you'll be essentialing around your Kingdom Quest and your in-guild raids. Uh, you can also have a block list if you click on the little B on the side of your thing, as you can see. I have blocked one character somehow, and it is a gold spammer. Gold spammers will become more common later in the game. Uh, you have your Q key, which you can use to have HP stones, or your E key, which you can use to have your SP stones. Uh, your character menu is right here. With here, you have a bar around your character, and that will go up as you obtain EXP. Once this bar does a complete lap around, one of these circles right here will fill up. That initiates that you have 10% EXP. You can use a combination of this, per se, if you have 5 bubbles filled up, you have 5, 50%. But if you have a little bit of this filled up, let's say you have halfway, you're at 55%. This is important to keep in mind for later in the game. Here is your map system. Your map, you can change the transparency if you want. This will help you if you just want to simply, as a lower level, click on something to go to a place. You can also turn on the grid system, which will allow you to use the coordinate system to go to a certain point that someone talks to you about. Or you can open the world map. The world map will simply tell you which gates you can take to go to different cities. In this case, as you can see, I can go to Forest of Tides, Cave, uh, Forest of Tides, Sand Beach, or Sea of Greed. Those three maps are the only ones I have currently available to me, and they are found at the different portals throughout the map. If you look here, you can see the different portals. You have Forest of Tides, Sand and Beach, and Sea of Greed. You also have a map called Secret Basement, which is only found as part of an instance dungeon, and you won't be needing to go there until level 90 or higher. If you want, you can pop out the keys, which is legend, and this will tell you what all the symbols mean. Uh, take a quick look at it right now, because it's important to make sure you know where your basic things like your healer, your skill master, or your blacksmith are. These are the essential features of the game. You'll be using them from now on as core mechanics, and it's important to make sure you've mastered them. I would spend a good five minutes sitting over there, going over your HUD, or your heads-up display, as people would say, and just looking at the map. Also, a smoke key will help you look at this. If you want to, you can compare your perspective on the map to your perspective on this. Typically, it is a 4x4 four four block radius, in this case, it's a 9x9 nine nine block radius, of what you can see on your grid system and what you can see on here. Oh, it may be 4x4. Four four. Yep, it's 4x4. Four four. It's a 4x4 four four graph system that will tell you where to look. Keep this in mind for the later guides, and keep a heads up for later guides I'll be posting. From now on, I'll be posting constant patch notes and uh, before the patch to talk about what I expect the features to be like. Uh, constant patch notes after the patch with a video display of what's changed. And I will also be posting more guides. I'm going to be posting level 1 through 20 and such guides, and hopefully I'll be also over a little bit of the classes. Uh, so stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy. If you enjoy my work currently, and you want to check out some other stuff, you can click on one of the videos that pops up now. Or to Republicans, or vice versa, or whatever you want to do with it. So, um, that's just my warning. If you don't, if maybe you want to support me and watch the video still.